Hi, my name is Andrew Kopelman, one of the PSEO program's academic advisors. In this video, I'm going to cover the basics of what PSEO will pay for versus what you'll have to pay for yourself. First, tuition. PSEO covers all your tuition costs for courses taken in the program. There's nothing you have to do to request this or confirm this. It'll just happen automatically. Next, let's talk about course materials. Starting August 16th, you can order most required course materials to pick up through the Kaufman Bookstore on campus. If you're unable to come to campus, for example, if all your courses are online and you live far away, then you may be able to order your books shipped to you. The process will function like a library. You'll check the required materials out at the start of the semester and return them at the end of final exams to avoid being charged. Watch your email in early August and we'll send you a written and video guide then showing you the details and process to go through to ensure that you don't pay. Let's say though that your required course materials are not available through the Kaufman Bookstore, but only going to be stocked through somewhere like Amazon or a local print shop. In many of those cases, you'd pay for them and we can reimburse you. However, there are some course material charges that PSEO does not cover. Specifically, we cannot reimburse you for non-consumable materials that you don't check out through our Kaufman Bookstore Scholarship Desk, even if they're required. Non-consumable materials are anything that's expected to last significantly past the semester's end. For instance, in an art class, we can reimburse you for the cost of required paint, which will be used up through the semester, but not for the required paint brushes, which will last well beyond. Also, PSEO does not cover the cost of any course materials listed as optional or recommended. If you want them, you'd have to pay for them out of pocket. Next, food. Students who normally get access to free and reduced lunches at high school will not have access to similar support on the university campus. However, the U does have some options to help PSEO students in this way, including a free Nutritious U pantry every month. Reach out to pseo at umn.edu or your advisor for further support that may be available. Next, transportation. Students will have to pay most transportation costs, including parking. Check with your high school whether you'll have access to a go-to pass for free public transit. You can also get a U-Pass through the university that would allow you to pay a discounted bulk rate for unlimited public transit rides each semester. The main exception in terms of parking payment is for students whose families are at or below the federal poverty level. Funds are available to help cover transportation costs in these cases. Check with your high school for details. And note also that PSEO students can access the campus connectors for free no matter what. These are shuttles that loop around campus during the day. Now, as far as healthcare services, each healthcare service on campus is a bit different in how open they are to PSEO students. I'll talk about two key centers you might hear about on campus, Student Counseling Services and Boynton Health. Student Counseling Services provides mental health support for university students, including PSEO students. This includes both personal counseling as well as academic counseling and skill development. However, most services available through Boynton Health are not covered by PSEO, so you'd only be able to use them depending on your private insurance. There are exceptions though, such as the popular PAUSE program that's free to all. PAUSE stands for Pet Away Worry and Stress and lets you de-stress at different times of the year by hanging out with therapy dogs, chickens, bunnies, and other furry friends. A couple of other aspects of campus life to note. Uh, first, the rec center. PSEO students can only access the rec center if you purchase a membership. However, if you take a, a physical education class that meets in the rec center, like weightlifting or basketball, then you'll be able to enter the center for that time. Uh, second is tutoring centers. Tutoring centers, on the other hand, are almost always free. These include the peer tutoring center called Smart Learning Commons, the Multicultural Center for Academic Excellence, many department-run tutoring rooms such as the Math or Physics Tutoring Room, and more. Last, let's talk about how you can track any payments you need to make. Head to myu.umn.edu and click on My Finances. This will show you any outstanding charges. For instance, if you buy a U-Pass, a Rec Center membership, 
uh, or charge something uh, at the bookstore to your student account, such as a sweatshirt or an optional textbook, this is where you'd see the charge and can pay it off. And those are the basics of what PSEO covers and doesn't cover. For more information, see the PSEO Handbook at z.umn.edu slash PSEO Handbook, contact us at pseo at umn.edu, or check with your advisor once one is assigned to you. Thanks for watching. See you.